Okay. So, once you finish your treatment, you will get the three zeros. Now, once these have come up, you should make sure your pack is ready, your table, your tapes, all your preparation is done. Once that's all ready, we can press the stop key. You see that the machine comes up with 277. We then clamp our red, our arterial line, and we take off the syringe on the red line on the saline bag. We swap the syringe and the blood line so that the syringe goes onto your needle and the blood line on the red side, the arterial, goes back to the saline bag. We open both of the clamps and we press the add fluid button. This will now count down to zero. Once we get to zero, get the three zeros and the machine will click. We're now going to clamp and disconnect our venous needle. So we clamp both the lines, remove the access line, the detector. We take the syringe off the saline bag and we put that onto the end of our fistula needle. The blue line goes back to the saline bag and the blue connection. At this point, we can then take the readings by pressing the jug and this will tell us how long we've dialyzed for, how much dialysate we've processed, how much UF has been completed and how much blood has been processed and this all goes on the bottom of your dialysis sheet. Once you've taken all this information you can turn the machine off. This is the point where you would take your needles out. Once you've taken your needles out we can then start to strip down the machine. So first of all we can come down to the pure flow and we can press stop. Now if you're using um, a batch of 60 litres and your treatment is only 30 then you would pause it. However we are going to put this batch into drain. So we press stop once so we're going to press and hold the stop button now it says continue to go or to drain stop. So go is green, drain stop is red. So we're gonna press red. Then it's drain to go, cancel to stop. Again, go is green, cancel is stop. We press the green and it takes us to two hours 20 draining. If you haven't got much left in your sack, you can continue to press stop press and hold the stop button until it clicks over to more to go or done to stop. We want to press done to stop which will be the red button and now it will take it down to a two minute flush. We can now disconnect the machines from each other. So the first thing to look for is your green line and we're going to cancel the, we're going to clamp the green line at the top and at the bottom and the middle clamp. This is a non-return clamp, so once you've clamped this, you can't open this. So we clamp that, 
and we disconnect that line. Again, if we need that for the next session, then we just leave that there. We don't. We're then going to take off our yellow line and disconnect that. And that goes back up to the saline bag onto the yellow connector. And then finally, we're going to take our access pressure pod off and disconnect that. Then we can open the door, lift it up, pull the door open. We can then take the dialyzer out, pull the cartridge out. We can then close the door, take the saline bag, and this can all be thrown away into your yellow bag. And then just wipe the machine down. If there's any blood, make sure you clean it down, and then we'll be able to make a new sack. As you can see now, the machine is telling us to close the blue clamps, which are here. So we're going to clamp here, here, and here. And we're going to tell the machine that we've done that. Then it's going to want us to open the door and remove the sack. So we're going to open the door, pull up the handle, Take all of that out, close the door, take the orange line out. The blue line, we're going to remove the bottom one. We always leave the non-return bit attached. That's to keep this part of the line clean. This coming from the purification unit, so we don't want to dirty this line. And then this sack will be removed, and then we'll put a new one in.